hi i'm gonna talk about one of the most frequently asked question ever by engineering students in india and what is that what to do after the tech and trust me there is no definite answer to this question let's have a look on different choices we make after b tech i think i can go for m tech because you know the tech in m tech sounds somewhere similar to b tech so it can be a good option and most of my friends are preparing for gate so can i and i have a coaching nearby so i can join the coaching i don't know actually or i can go for psu or ies one of my seniors just qualified ies and you know that's that that's that sounds like a nice option and psu is a fancy thing eh or yes i can go for a software company because there are lots of software companies coming around my campus tcs accenture infosys and other companies and there's a job security over there so yes software companies sound to be a good option or i can uh, actually opt for mba you know i can prepare for cat one of my f- seniors just cracked iims and you know there was a lot of fuss about him and you know mba plus bdex sounds a new and a good combination hmm so i think i can go for this mba thing or maybe i can just become a production quality or maintenance engineer because that because i did the btech i did bachelor's of engineering in technology so i think i should be a production or quality or maintenance engineer or maybe if i can't do anything i can just teach in an engineering college that sounds a safer option or i can just go for research or i can be a sales and marketing engineer or i can go for civil service and defense you know because i am not much interested in bachelor's of technology so the, the, it sounds to be a good escape from it you know there are no other career options around oh what if i go to study abroad you know one of my senior just went to study abroad and he posted so many good pictures on facebook you know the locations are nice and it's it's, it's interesting to study abroad isn't it Hmm. and you know when you finish your your studies you get a million dollar jobs over there so study abroad sounds to be a good option all right how we choose our career options so i look for a field where there are attractive packages and salary i look for a field where there are more jobs and yes i always go for a general trend so if more people are opting for mtech i will opt for mtech if they are opting for mba i will opt for mba if they are going for psu i will also go for psu if they are going for private jobs i will also go for private jobs because i will follow the general trend that's the safest way but is it the right way to choose a career option definitely no because it's not about choosing a career option it's about the way you want to spend the rest of your life so whenever you are choosing a career option choose what you love to do what you want to do choose what actually defines you your attitude your love your passion your strength your core competencies your likes and dislikes your hobbies and everything that defines of you only it's a unique thing sorry so it's 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 a very unique thing that you possess which defines you as a person or me as a person and it's and it's special so if i mix my btech degree with what defines me as a person i get my niche and my niche is that blue ocean space where only i can swim and others cannot how i'll just show you so these were all the career options which we were talking about currently now what i do is i enclose them in the box what we were currently doing was we were all thinking and being inside the box but you know how many people are there in 
there inside this box there are 7.5 lakhs students passing out in India every year the engineering students so all these 7.5 lakh students are there competing in this box for the same things all right what I will do is I will step outside this box and try to explore the options outside this box how I will amalgamate my skills my, my abilities my love my passion with my bachelor's of technology degree and for example I want to be a writer or I'm interested in literature I can become a writer in a technical magazine in an engineering magazine there are lots of uh, PC tech magazines there are lots of automobile magazines I can be a writer in those magazines or I can become a technical writer in any company you know every 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 organization requires a technical writer similarly if I'm interested more in finance then I can mix my bachelor's of technology degree to to become a financial analyst and just there are a lot of jobs available only after BTEC as a financial analyst if I'm interested in sports then I can always become a sports engineer or more precisely if I'm interested in cricket I can go on and become a pitch curator and there are many different job opportunities if I it's it's just a matter of search on Google and I will find a lot of job opportunities or work opportunities or, or education opportunities you know that combines with my BTEC degree if I am interested in fashion I can become a fashion technologist all right I can become a patent attorney it's it's an amalgamation of your bachelor's of technology degree with a bit of law and a patent attorney earns much more than a, a, a BTEC a person working simply as an engineer all right I can be I can open up my own coaching for all the people who want to do this MTech, MBA or the people who, who want to get selected in BTEC you know there are lots of people who, who, who actually want to enter this space so if you want to go out of the box you can open your own coaching or counseling and you know train these people or if, if you are interested in medical sciences or health you can always go into the medical technology Similarly, you can become a corporate trainer if you think you are good at good at speaking and in, and influencing people. And if you are interested in news, media, and all, you can always opt for mass communication. This is a deadly combination: bachelor's of technology with mass communication. Or you can become a raw agent if you are a fan of Salman Khan. Honestly speaking, you know, after bachelor's of technology, you can do, uh, do some courses and training and maybe become a raw agent or something you can go for a nanotechnology degree it's, it's it's an emerging field you can you know if you are interested in farming or agriculture or you love vegetables or horticulture and you want to stick to your basic basic village roots maybe then you can combine your technical degree with this agriculture or horticulture and get a lot of profits you can become a business analyst only after doing BTEC I know a lot of my friends who just after BTEC are working as business analysts you can always go into the politics we are seeing a lot of politicians who are coming from the technical background now you can work in a law firm a law firm always requires people with technical background technical aptitude to work for them hmm. and my favorite you can always become an entrepreneur so these were only the few examples of what you can do after your BTEC degree you now there are a lot of things which you can do with your BTEC degree all what you have to do is identify yourself and amalgamate it with your BTEC degree and develop your own personal niche that's it so the answer to the question what to do after BTEC is very simple do what you love to do because if you will do what you love to do you will perform well and 
the salary and packages will follow you you know there's no such field which has got got all the good salaries and no such field which has got all the bad salaries if you are performing well even as a chef as a gardener as an engineer as a teacher or a doctor or a lawyer you'll get good salaries that's a simple rule jobs will follow you you know never be afraid of the scarcity of jobs in a market because you don't need thousand of jobs you need just one single job and if you are good at it you will find it trust me and finally the trend will follow you so it's your choice now do you want to follow the general trend or do you want the general trend to follow you so that's all for now leaving you on this note i'll take goodbye or say goodbye i'm sorry i'll say goodbye for now please leave your comments and suggestions and queries and i will try to answer them in my further videos you can post them on my twitter twitter account or my website that's all for now best of luck stay happy stay cheerful bye bye thank you